My name is Eric Knaus and it is my pleasure to welcome you to a three-minute pitch for a topic that my colleagues and myself have been very passionate for for many years now. This talk is based on joint work with Rashida Kazauli, Jennifer Horkoff, Grisha Liebel and Francisco Gomez de Oliveira Neto. When I started with this work in 2014, in my very first interview, an automotive software team lead told me that we don't do requirements anymore because we are now working agile. And still, here we are. In fact, we claim that for continuous and agile systems engineering, requirements engineering is a core competency and it is very, very difficult to master. Requirements engineering is challenging by itself, but whenever large-scale agile methods are applied to systems engineering, we see a very special set of challenges. These challenges are not sufficiently covered by scaled agile frameworks and they are also not covered by traditional requirements engineering approaches. They apply both to companies that transition to Agile and also to those that already work in a fully Agile way. Our research provides a comprehensive overview that allows to identify holistic solutions and that charts important areas for future research. In our overview, we arrange challenges in six areas. These areas include shared understanding of customer value, shared understanding about the system, support for change and evolution, representation of requirements knowledge, the design of requirements related processes, and finally also challenges about the fit to the organization, for example, the bridging of plan driven and agile aspects of system development. So why do we think that this research is interesting to you? Well, first of all, we believe that this map of challenges that we provide here is also providing a shared language that allows to discuss this neglected and very important area of systems engineering. If you're working in industry, for example, in a systems engineering company, you may want to use this map for process improvements. And there it is really important, we have learned that from our partner companies, to not over-optimize one area at the expense of another. If you are a researcher, you may want to use our classification of challenges to focus on open challenges, to evaluate proposed solutions, or to contextualize your findings. In summary, our research is based on data from seven large systems engineering companies, 20 interviews, five focus groups, and eight cross-company workshops for validation. For each of the challenges that we find, we also list practices that were either proposed by our case company or by the scaled agile frameworks. We also list the current research gap from our perspective. You're welcome to contact us to learn more. Of course, we also encourage you to take a deeper look into our papers. Thank you.